boys and gears and welcome back well welcome to Skyrim the Elder Scrolls 5 so I've been watching a lot of stuff about the artistic Skyrim overhaul involving uh, the Pixar type qualities and stuff but also I was told after looking at it for a very long time that with uh, hey, you. a little bit away. of lighting modification and such trying to cross the board, it actually right? looks Walk very right nice and uh, Same as us. And that thief over there. I can say now that I've Damn, looked around close. a little bit with Skyrim it was fine until you um, came I did a little bit of nice and lazy. testing to make sure it worked could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell you there you and uh one sec i do have to go into settings because the audio is way 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 too loud there we go we shouldn't be here so i figured it'd be fun to do a very stripped down playthrough of Skyrim with the Pixar texture mod. Um, I have one lighting mod installed. Unfortunately, because I do not have a graphics card on my potato PC, um, I was unable to do an ENB. It automatically crashed anytime I tried to use an ENB with no graphics card. So, no ENB, but... Um, what village are you from, I have thrown in a few uh, last different mods for how perks and stuff will work, a few additional magical mods and such. Um, but yeah, it's the whole goal is to have a very smooth running. Um, Skyrim because of the Pixar mod and then the, the lighting just gives it a little bit more oomph than it originally would have with the Pixar mod. Um, I've thrown in a few things to add like different racials and stuff. Standing stones have different effects. Uh, essentially what I did was I took the Andromeda standing stones mod and all of its subsidiaries and put them in so we can choose different religions and those give us different effects yeah so that's the idea um, I was kind of going for a little bit more like how they would have done Skyrim if they had done it back when like back before Morrowind, or around the same time as Morrowind, maybe. I don't remember how well the the texturing was done on Morrowind. So maybe before Morrowind. You've got to tell them we work with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the clock. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. And I felt fine with talking over all the intro stuff because I know you guys. I've probably seen this intro like a bajillion times. Lokir of Rorikstead. Lokir of Rorikstead. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Okay. So. I think we will go with... An Imperial.
go. Grab one of the presets. What's really funny is, okay, so the dirt is so low resolution, it doesn't even do anything except add like a tiny bit of shading to the face. It's really funny. Same with the complexions. Oh wait, no, the complexions actually add more. Nice. Uh, scars are very detailed for some reason. Like... <laughs> but the war paint, that's really interesting. Because like it's so washed out, some of them. I think we'll go with this war paint and we'll get it in red. I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. The eyes, because of the, the low resolution of the textures, there's like almost no difference. Unless you get like some of the really interesting ones, like the ones with the red around them or the all black or the one blind eye type thing. <laughs> It's funny. Um, the brows do have some differences still, so that's cool. Um, the mouth shapes, I noticed when I was looking through this earlier that no matter what you do, you have like this frowny crease at the corner of your mouth. So that's interesting. Let's go with red lips, hair, I want one of the longer hairstyles. How about that one? We'll leave the hair color the way it is. I think that one will work. And done. Name our character. Haberja Zynga. You're a long way from the Imperial City. What are you doing in Skyrim? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Shivadin. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Stormcloak. Some here in Helden call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice that murders. So if you look, you can actually see one of my mods right now on General Tullius's hip. If you look at his sword, and then if you look at uh, Ulfric's hip, his axe, those are both weapons from Royal Armory, which happen to use vanilla assets to make them. So, General Tullius, give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Kalo, shut up and let's get this over. Of as you wish. Come on, I haven't thought all morning. Now, if I could have gotten ENB, there would be some slight additional details in a lot of the armor and stuff because of the way the EMBs work. You Imperial bastard! Justice! Also, his body totally disappears. Like, as fearless as death, when I go up there to lay down on the thing to, to get my head chopped off, his body just disappears. the block prisoners. Nice and easy. So the, his body just straight up disappeared. His head's still there. But if his body's still there, I am now laying on top of it.
Whoa, his eyes flashed blue for a second there. And once we get up, you'll see his body suddenly back. Where'd it go? There it is. Whoa. Where? Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? Where's, where's the place we're supposed to be going? One thing about playing this version is everything looks so different, it makes it hard to figure out where you're going and stuff sometimes. And I totally missed the jump. Okay, here we go. I don't know which, uh, oh my gosh, like, I'm not sure what's doing that, the, the whole thing where I'm like randomly getting increases of regens. Might be Imperious Races, maybe? Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The Prius of the End Times? But you see how the lighting mod makes it a little bit more realistic in here than it would be. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if okay. I can find something for these drones. Okay, let's do this and we'll take a look at some things. Uh powers. Okay. So, in, com in armed combat, allies within 15 feet gain 150 points of armor and 15 attack damage. Imperial Volt Virtues. In combat, regenerate a random attribute 100% faster until combat ends. At level 10, 20, and 30, you may make permanent changes to your attributes, res resistances, and skills. That seems to be all stuff having to do with uh, Imperious Races, then. Let's go ahead and take these. Tab. Items. Weapons. Iron Sword. Apparel. And I was already planning to go with Light Armor and One-Handed. So, Let's see what weapons we got here. Hide shield. And iron maul. I think I'm gonna stick with sword. It's just, I got these other weapons in there for something interesting. So that we weren't just facing off against all the same weapons as usual. Let's go.
I forgot to remove blood textures. I knew there was something I forgot because I was trying to go for a cartoony appearance so I wanted to remove blood textures. And as you can see, I forgot to do that. of them had spears. Let's go into our apparel and put on the fur gauntlets. We can go ahead and drop the fur boots and the foot reps and the rough spun tunic. Okay, let's grab a potion and head over here. Grab all of these potions. Stun them this way. So, my plan is one-handed, light armor, and restoration. Whoops! Guess I killed the torturer! on and this on and we'll go ahead and drop the fur gauntlets. See if you can get it open with this pick. Nothing worth it. taking from you. Lock pick, lock pick. And then let's head over here and we'll go ahead and get a level in lock picking. You unlock all of these cages, you get a level and a little bit of experience in lock picking. So uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this video on the day that it's coming out is because I found out that I have to leave. So when I'm recording this, I found out that tomorrow I have to leave at 7 a.m. to go work my real life job. And I won't be back from that until Sunday night, I believe, because the event itself is going Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, I'm trying to get, I'm kind of scrambling to try and get videos up and scheduled for while I'm gone. So, and since I was already considering this as a video option and I'm going to miss out on an event in Second Life that I usually do for some of my videos, because I won't be there for both of the days. Yeah. 
quad hammers and stuff. Uh, there was one mod I was thinking of putting in this, and you guys can tell me if you think it's a good idea or not. Um, the follower overhaul mod, so that I can get more followers than I would normally have. So, if you guys think that would be a good idea, let me know down in the comments. I will gladly add that one to the list. So. Now let's see how many of you guys knew about this little dealie box. So, we head down here, we head over here, and free loots. I wonder how many of you guys knew that was there. Apparently, I have been poisoned and I'm dying rather rapidly. Swing the sword, come on! There we go. There we go. And we leveled up our one hand. And we leveled up. I don't think there's anything worth looting in here. Let's go ahead and grab our level up. I'll take a health. And then head on over to light armor. So one of the ones that I got was the, frick, what's it called? Ordinator Pro Overhaul. So we will have some different perks. That's why I am only going to be focusing on three skills. Um, One-handed, light armor, Restoration. Hold up. There's a bear just there. Yeah, 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 there's a bear. Watch me take this bear out. It's just a level one bear, bro. We'll go ahead and take its loots. We'll press control so I don't get spammed with the press control to sneak. And uh yeah. That'll take care of that. Let's get the hex out of here. And I think before I record next, I will try and get the blood removal thing installed. And uh, yeah, we've now got our ability to choose a religion, I believe. We will go with RK, because I'm planning to be somebody Looks who like gone for good this time. goes and, uh, I'm planning this build to be like a an undead slaying type thing. So, 
Our next order of business is we're going to grab one of the early standing stones. And then I think we'll call it there. So let's grab our first standing stone real quick. Um, I'm also thinking of adding in the point the way mod because it's a very good quality of life mod along with lanterns of Skyrim so that our pathways are always lit up. So we want the warrior stone. Those under the sign of the warrior inflict some damage with power attacks and long range shots. Oh, inflict more damage. They gain additional experience in all warrior skills. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. So, there we go. And that will help with our armor and one handed skills leveling up, as well as dealing additional damage with our power attacks. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Um, These are the see you guys stone. next time. Thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.